The sequence in which Alec Baldwin's prop gun fired after being loaded with live ammunition, killing cinematographer Helena Hutchins, will never be seen by the final viewers of the torturous film Rust. After the horrific accident, an insider claims that the sequence was completely removed from the Western script, as reported by People. Following the incident on October 21, 2021, during which Joel Souza, the film's director, also suffered significant injuries as a bullet went through Hutchins' body and wounded him in the shoulder. The screenplay for the movie was apparently drastically altered. The insider stated, It's a beautiful film, but they did some rewriting and cut the church scene that they were practicing. It appears to be a major motion picture. The 66-year-old Baldwin, who had a co-story credit and produced the movie, had his involuntary manslaughter charges permanently dropped after prosecutors were accused of not providing the defense team with all relevant evidence. This is when the script change was announced. The main cameras on set were not in use for the on-set filming, which took place during a rehearsal. At the same time, as is common on movie sets, Baldwin was practicing with a prop pistol that he claims he was informed contained no live rounds while Hutchins and Souza planned the camera blocking for the church scene that was going to be shot. The actor has further stated that he did not squeeze the trigger prior to the gun firing and that he was unaware that live rounds had been placed into the revolver. After defense attorneys discovered that bullets turned into the police that a witness claimed may be relevant to the case were not included with the rest of the rust shooting evidence, Baldwin's case was unexpectedly dismissed with prejudice by the judge, meaning he cannot be charged with that crime again in the future. Rather than being visible to the defense, the bullets were filed in a separate case filed by a Santa Fe County Sheriff's deputy. The prosecutor's admission under oath that she had approved the file after taking the stand added to the gravity of the situation. Private defense lawyer Carrie Morrissey, who was assigned to try the case, made the unprecedented move of taking the witness stand and swearing in. She said that the bullets had not even been properly inspected having only glanced at pictures of them before concluding they had nothing to do with the case. However, after the bullet's existence was made public, Judge Mary Marlowe Sommer looked through them in court and found that, at the very least, a few of them seemed to resemble the bullets fired on the rust set sufficiently to be admissible as proof. Morrissey vehemently refuted the defense team's accusations that he was trying to conceal evidence but it was unclear why the rounds had been excluded. The defense team had made an effort to shift the focus of the responsibility from Baldwin to the person who loaded the rifle and provided the ammunition. Although it's unclear exactly whether and how the additional information could have assisted, it might have supported the defense's assertions regarding the origin of the lethal ammunition. Sommer dismissed the charges against Baldwin, saying of the prosecution, If this conduct does not rise to the level of bad faith, it certainly comes so near to bad faith as to show signs of scorching prejudice. After breaking down in tears, the actor gave his weeping wife Ilaria Baldwin a hug and a kiss. The initial accusations against him were dropped since they weren't in place when the incident happened. Should he have been found guilty on the less serious charges, the maximum sentence he could have received would have been 18 months in prison. Producers of Rust, which later started filming again, still intend to release Rust. Despite the fact that Baldwin is no longer facing criminal charges, he is still the target of several lawsuits, one of which was brought by Hutchins' Ukrainian parents and sister. The lawsuit that Hutchins' spouse had brought against Baldwin and other Rust manufacturers appears to have been resolved in 2022. However, his lawyers asserted in March of this year that the producers had not made all of the required payments, which ought to have been finished by then. According to the New York Times, an attorney for Matthew Hutchins stated that the lawsuit was still pending due to the purported inability to make the entire payment and that he planned to take it to court.